Good morning everyone. Uh, yesterday I started looking at the beginning of uh, John Steenhuisen's victory speech and uh, one thing was clear to me. He does not respect the people in that crowd at all because he speaks to them like they are a bunch of uh, preschoolers and he treats them like sheep. And I cannot respect that. It is absolutely horrible to see. I've seen this at past uh, large DA events where Muslim Imani and other people have been present uh, back in the day when he was the DA leader because they keep on swapping them out like you cannot believe. And, um, you know, there's this big excitement being created in uh, the mainstream media and within the DA, but no one else is excited about it. If people were that excited, uh, the YouTube video showing this would have hundreds of thousands of views, which is not the case. At the time when I looked at it, it had 11,000 views, which for someone like the DA that's in the national media is pathetic. So people are not believing in your uh, promises, John Stiernes. And the other thing uh, that is happening is they are seeing the circus for what it is. And it's a DA-driven circus. And they say that uh, John Stiernesen has a vision of the DA being an official opposition and actually uh, trying to govern the country. Goodness gracious. If you look at the amount of votes you got last time and you look at the amount of votes that the EFF got last time, all that's happening is votes might be taken away from the African National Congress. As long as the EFF stands with them, they'll remain in power and you'll be useless. And you know this. So you need to do something desperate. It's going to be interesting to see what happens in the next bit. How the DA embarrasses themselves even further. Because I've been in that machine, I've made the mistakes, I've seen all the nonsense, and I've not disclosed the half of it. Um, the public will see it openly now. They will make big mistakes. And Helen Ziller has always been in the driver's seat, will remain in the driver's seat behind the scenes. And once the public understands how that machine works, where their funding comes from, who's actually behind all their ideals, uh, you will open your mind and you will find other avenues. And I suggest you look in avenues that will change the system that has created monsters like the African National Congress, monsters like the Democratic Alliance, monsters like the Economic Freedom Fighters, and actually change the system to one where we can elect our leaders directly so that if you elect a monster, at least you are to blame. Thank you very much for watching this video and please remember to share it with your friends and family.